Hello, in this video, I'd like to talk about something that is very important for cybersecurity leaders and security professionals. It's about their mind map. What should they be thinking in the coming couple of years when it comes to cybersecurity strategy? For this, I will be leveraging the CISO mind map. So this is the CISO mind map. It is a tool developed by Rafik Riman, and apologies if I'm mispronouncing it, but this uh, professional has essentially created these mind maps for a number of years now, more than nine, yeah, since 2012, as you can see on the report here. So more than 11 years now. And the current version of it, the current iteration, which was released a few months ago, is looking at recommendations for 2023 and 2024, essentially. So looking a couple years into the future, if we can ever uh, trust uh, in any uh, recommendations for the, for the next couple of years since everything changes so rapidly in technology and especially in cybersecurity. But for the most part, I believe this is will absolutely be a very important tool for our, for us as cybersecurity professionals. So as I click into the image here, I can get to zoom in, but you can also download it as a PDF off the, the original post. And what's really important here and full credits to the creator, as you can see on screen here, as you can see, uh, they break down uh, cybersecurity domains and relevant technologies and topics that we should be across of naturally. And some of those are tenets and fundamentals of cybersecurity, uh, of the cybersecurity domains that we operate on a daily basis. But some of these are new to the mind map, such as, and I want to go back to the original post here, to just highlight what really has changed. So you can see here, um, some of the changes here are related to uh, automation, essentially a section dedicated to automation added to the CISO mind map. This is coming off the optimization of budget needed by CISOs, right? And essentially lack of qualified staff is generating a need for CISOs to think of automation in that way, to essentially remove routine tasks and find efficiencies in security operations. Also, redundancy and overlaps. So it's about removing re redundancy and overlaps in the mind map. Oh, good. Uh, and also, he talks about how he's looking at an expiration date uh, for older CISO mind map copies. So he's tackling that challenge on his side of things. But just focusing really on the recommendations added for 2023 and 2024 in this document, uh, whilst I do recommend that you navigate to the original post here for uh, a thorough breakdown of everything he's mentioning, I would like to just make a few notes here about the main topics here that he highlights. The first one being here, increasing attention on resilience. This resilience and cyber resilience in general is a topic that has been uh, being talked a lot more over the last couple of years. We're moving our efforts from not just preventing, but also creating a, a, mind, a mindset in the cybersecurity space of creating the ability to be resilient, to survive attacks in many ways. So not only to prevent breaches, but also if you're ever breached, you're segmented enough so that you are resilient to be able to isolate potential breaches and potential uh, entry points and attacks in your network so that they don't spread and don't uh, attack a full network issue uh, on your environment. So resilience is about that, right? Your ability to keep your business going. And so increasing attention on resilience is really fundamental according to, to this version of it. And many cybersecurity vendors have been talking about it, right? Microsoft, uh, CrowdStrike and other vendors have been talking about it. Also reducing and consolidating security tools. So the argument he makes here is very important. And I, I've been working with platform security vendors for uh, many years now. And the benefits of using these similar tools from consolidated vendors really are important to businesses. So when you have more security tools, don't necessarily mean more secure, right? Or effective risk reduction in an environment. Rather, it creates uh, more time and need to maintain expertise on your team. So it creates burden on your teams to actually maintain all that expertise. Also looking at build and build a brand for your security team. So the argument he makes here is uh, while the message is important, 
The credibility of the messenger is also crucial. To serve business better, train security team staff on business acumen, value creation, influencing people without authority, and human experience. So they include the recommendation last year or in their last CISO mind map, and they need to keep focus on the fact that information security teams don't live in a vacuum, right? And we have to enable business and interact with others. And that is fundamental. Me coming from a technical background, we all know that we, we need to uh, make, make, a, make an effort to actually be part and be able to communicate our ideas better to business people in our organizations. And this is the, the point he's making here. Untangling application of web components, right? So the point he's making here is about modern applications having all these different com components and interconnected components with APIs, multiple cloud and data centers, open source libraries, uh, and so on and so, so forth. Now, untangling, the part of untangling here from a cybersecurity perspective is about understanding how your business applications work and make inventory of all these components that they rely on, right? So, and make all of that part of your vulnerability management program. So the idea behind this here is you are creating a map of what technology you have. So sort of getting into the ass bomb, uh, meaning software bill of materials kind of things here uh, from a cybersecurity program perspective. Really core as well, if, you're, if you wanna take hold of everything you own as a cybersecurity program. Building expertise on emerging technologies. So a number of emerging technologies have been uh, forefront when it comes to cybersecurity. So think of DevSecOps, think of container security, think of multi-cloud security as well. But more recently, we, we've been talking a lot about machine learning models, model training. So how do you secure that properly? How do you take care of that responsibly? But also with open tools such as ChatGPT, which essentially you're allowing your users to interact with these two to get some sort of outcome from it. And many of the times they're trying to use that as a productivity tool, but they may be misusing it. So therefore, being on top of it and communicating how your users should be utilizing these tools, especially when it comes to corporate data, is fundamental to avoid breaches and to avoid misuse of corporate data and lastly creating a security automation role so this here is about uh, being able to automate the creation of metrics in your environment related to security so being able to manage your security program cost and work at machine speed right but with the use of automation this is not always easy to do right so therefore it creates planning creates a strategizing thinking of it and then finally create an operational model of it so these here's are a few of the highlights of the CISO mind map 2023 now hopefully this has been useful for you if you do want to find out and learn more i highly recommend you just access the link on the description which will go straight to the source here thank you have a good one.